off the ground. But you're right. You need him on the floor. That's just one foul. You get a second one, though, that could be trouble. That's it. They're giving Sonogo the shot. He'll take it, and he knocks it down. His ten <laughs> Final little bit. Two fouls, six seconds. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. <laughs> How about Creighton, though? All the three-point shooting they do, they have ten points in the paint so far. Sonogo, there's the answer. Too deep. We saw earlier. Back to the left. He's going to go underneath the defender's arm. And those are plays that you don't really practice. That's just your imagination, the ability to score the ball in close by Nemhart. He's got six. Now Sonogo and Kalkbrenner back at it, patient. Sonogo using the footwork to finish it. What I love is guys, they got to the space. Space. Great pass, Sonogo with the finish, and we have our eighth lead change. Not always going to be able to grab it and secure it against Kalkbrenner. Tip it to yourself. Sonogo, spinning baseline, finish it. When you listen to coaches uh, at the beginning of the season. Well, you're either trying to keep your kids humble or put a fire in their belly, I guess. I want someone to, my, my college coach, Jim Cobb. Mitchell splits the defenders but loses the basketball. I don't think they ever knew who was making a play on that possession at all. From the beginning, it just didn't look clean. Guys didn't understand where they are supposed to be. Well, things look different on that end. Here's yeah. another opportunity for Sonogo one-on-one, -on -one, and he takes advantage down there. And their feet underneath them, Kalkbrenner's back, and they're, they're starting to get back to the Creighton that they were to start the season 6-0. and The three wins over Butler by 22, DePaul by 15, mm. and Seton Hall by 22. And now they lead it by one here on the road in stores. Sonogo, that's just beautiful. And Carl can't go with the lob, so you throw the skip pass off of the help side, weak side. But Andre Jackson covers it, changes the shot for Nimhart. Looks it a little bit different. More difficult. Back and forth we go. We've had 10 lead changes already in this game. Jackson inside. There's Sonogo. Already working with 16 points. Spins baseline. He did that in the first half. He did it again here at Providence. Because I think that's how most people read it. Oh, you're embarrassed to lose to Providence. It's just how they how they played the game, how they performed. And in that time out, he said that as well. We don't want to you want to be tough. You don't want to be one of those teams that has the reputation of not being tough. That's one of those things, too, where you're trying to send a message to your right. players through the yes. media, right? Yep. Absolutely. Hawkins on the baseline. Now out to Sonogo. Uh, Sonogo has hit two of those today. The ball slipped out of his hand, and it just didn't look correct. Sonogo and Hawkins have combined for 31 of the 49. And I think he's done a nice job. You don't have to shoot as many as, as Steph Curry shoots. Right. Or, or Clay Thompson. You just have to have the ability to step out so defenses have to adjust to that at the next level. And he's done a, a nice job of showing all the scouts that. And here he is in his more natural habitat. Patient again in the post against Kalkbrenner. What a tough finish for Sonogo. Well, between the two big men, Kalkbrenner... He's just a different player offensively. Kalkbrenner relies on that pick and pop or pick and roll excuse me where Sonogo will post up back to the basket 